We need to talk about Pokemon Legends Arceus. For all the new mechanics it introduced, the game actually removed quite a lot that's usually present in the mainline games. The most prevalent for me is the absence of abilities. Since Generation 3, every Pokemon has had a passive ability that could do anything from boosting or lowering the stats of you, your ally, or your opponent, to changing the weather. But in Legends Arceus, these abilities are completely missing. They're still coded into the game to make sure the Pokemon are compatible with home, which I'm sure we'll be able to move our Pokemon to any day now. Any day! But within a playthrough of Legends Arceus itself, you generally will not see the effects of these abilities. That is, except for a handful of Pokemon, namely Cherum, Arceus, and for some reason, Regigigas! Why is Game Freak gonna do my boy Regigigas story like that? He already had one of the worst abilities in all of Pokemon, and then they went and made sure he had a variant of that in a game without abilities! What did Regigigas do to deserve this? Well, I think I might have finally found the answer. And it's not simply for the sake of balancing an overpowered Pokemon. Instead, the answer lies in the inspiration for Regigigas and the other Titans. Before we go any further, allow me to explain Regigigas' ability real quick. Slow start. The Pokemon's attack and speed are cut in half for five turns. As I said, it's one of the worst abilities in the entire series, and it does exactly the same thing in Legends, though acts as a status condition instead of an ability. And negative abilities aren't unheard of in Pokemon, one of the most famous ones being slacking and its truant ability. And it makes sense on that Pokemon. Firstly, it's a sloth, so being lazy is kind of in its nature, but it also has stats on par with legendary Pokemon with a base stat total of 670. As something you can evolve from a Pokemon found in the early roots of its home region, yeah, I'm not surprised it needs some way to balance those stats out. And Regigigas has the same base stat total, so it only makes sense for it to have a nerf through its ability too, right? No, it doesn't! Slacking has the stats of a legendary, but Regigigas is a legendary! It deserves those stats! It's also introduced in the same game as three other legendaries with 10 more points in their base stat total, and Arceus, who has the highest base stat total of any non-mega Pokemon, and the same typing. And then there's Rayquaza, who starts with a base stat total of 680, already higher than Regigigas, and then Mega Evolves, without using a held item, and reaches a stupidly high base stat total of 780. Regigigas does not need balancing. So, why do I think Slow Start exists? Well, if you didn't know, all of the Regis are based on golems, beings made of inanimate matter that have been brought to life, usually made from clay or stone, and used as protectors or servants. They originate from Jewish folklore and are said to be brought to life with the use of a Shem, one of the names of God written on a piece of parchment which is then placed on the forehead or in the mouth of the golem. These golems, although alive, are not sentient. They are mute and will mindlessly follow the instructions of their creator. They have no sense of right and wrong or good and evil. And yet, if mishandled, they can be incredibly dangerous or even deadly as is the case with the most famous golem story, the Golem of Prague. In an attempt to defend the Jewish population of Prague's ghetto in the 16th century, Rabbi Lowe, with the assistance of two other Kabbalists, brought a golem to life. The golem was named Yosef, and he wreaked havoc on those who wished to prosecute the Jews. Yosef was a savior to the rabbi and his people of the ghetto, but his power would continue to grow with every day that passed. Rabbi Lowe ensured that every week before the Sabbath, the Shem would be removed from Yosef so that he could rest, as all who follow the faith should. Then two days later, he would be reawakened to continue his duties. One week, however, after an ordeal occurred and Rabbi Lowe's mind was distracted, he forgot to remove the Shem from Yosef. A frantic person rushed into the synagogue to tell Rabbi Lowe that the golem had gone berserk. The rabbi realized his mistake and rushed to find the golem in the midst of a destructive rampage. He quickly removed the Shem from Yosef and the golem fell motionless. According to legend, the rabbi stored Yosef in the attic of the synagogue, where it would lie in wait should its strength ever be needed again. I believe that this particular story of a golem is the one that Regigigas is based on. Yosef would be put to rest on the Sabbath, which, for followers of the Jewish faith, begins on Friday evening. He would then be awoken on the eve of Sunday to fulfill his duties once more. Then, the one time he was not allowed to rest after those five days, his strength became uncontrollable. After five turns, the effects of slow start lift, and Regigigas' strength effectively doubles. And that, I believe, is the reason Regigigas was given the ability Slow Start in the first place, and why it is still present in Legends Arceus when most others have been removed. 
because it is intrinsic to the lore that Regigigas is based on. It's also not the only similarities between Regigigas and the story of Yosef. The rabbi locked away Yosef through fear of its power. We know Regigigas is sealed away in Snowpoint Temple, and if we read the braille inscriptions in the sealed chamber, we learn that it was sealed away because people feared it. There, like Yosef, it awaits for the day when its strength will be required again. But the rabbi removed the Shem from Yosef in order to deactivate him. How did people manage to quell the Raging Titan? And wasn't it Arceus who created Regigigas who, in turn, made the other Regis? People had nothing to do with it, right? Well, I have a theory that ties all of this together, but you're going to have to come with me on this one, and then I'll explain my thinking afterwards. In the beginning, Arceus created Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. Sadly, Giratina was a butt and needed to be banished. So next, he created Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza. Unfortunately, they couldn't stop fighting each other. Arceus needed a servant to aid in shaping the world, one who would fulfill its wishes without compromise. So Arceus created the first golem, Regigigas. It did so by forming the Titan with Arceus's own name upon its face, with an alphabet that uses seven dots. To aid in its task, Regigigas would create more golems, all of whom also had one of the names of God marked upon their face in the seven dot alphabet. Eventually, humans came to be. Seeing the power that the Titans possessed, they worshipped them, but they also wished to control them. They did this by learning the name of God, and using their own six-dot alphabet, aka Braille, they took control of the master of the Titans. So they placed rubies, sapphires, and iron balls upon it, arranged in the form of their six-dot alphabet. Regigigas and all of its fellow golems were now under the control of the humans, but they could only control them for a limited time. One day, the humans forgot to allow Regigigas to rest, and it went on a rampage. Fearful of its power and losing control again, they sealed all the Titans away in temples across multiple regions. All right, let's start with the dots upon the Regis face. Every one of the Titans has seven dots upon their face. These are clearly meant to be reminiscent of Braille, the alphabet that's used and needed to be deciphered by the player within the sealed chamber, which then unlocks the resting places of Regi Rock, Ice, and Steel. The Braille alphabet is heavily associated with the Regis. However, the way the dots are arranged upon the faces of the Titans can't be replicated with Braille. And given that they all have seven dots compared to Braille's six, leads me to believe that this is the language of God from which ours is simply derived. The other place we find Braille within the games is the Sevi Islands, at Mount Ember and at the Dotted Hole the locations that hold a singular ruby and sapphire respectively. Within the story of the Pokemon Adventures manga, a ruby and sapphire are shown to be the original form of the red and blue orbs, which we know to possess a power similar to that of infinity energy, the life energy of all Pokemon, as they allow Groudon and Kyogre to primal revert. So the humans could certainly use these gems to manipulate the energy that gives Regigigas life. The Iron Balls, then, are used to slow down the Titan whilst it is under their control to reduce its chances of being destructive. This, in turn, further plays into the speed reduction of Slow Star. Regigigas is the only one of the Titans to have six dots upon its chest, but this is not, in fact, the only place we see something like this. In the many temples where a Regi may be found, statues can be seen, all with the face markings of the Regi that lies within the temple, but upon each of the statue's chests, is the same six dots found on Regigigas. This is the ancient people's name for God, the one that allows them to control Regigigas' power and was used to put it and all of its children to sleep. So there you have it. Do you agree with this origin of Regigigas and do you have your own ideas as to why it was cursed with such a terrible ability? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss out on future theories because that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope to join us again in the next one. But until then, we'll catch you later. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, ring the bell, do all the YouTube things, and I shall see you on the next episode.